Hello, my name is Daryl and I'm a product support specialist here at Applied Photophysics. I will be demonstrating the correct procedure for replacing and aligning a lamp within an SX slot flow spectrophotometer. You may need to replace your lamp for one of three common reasons. One, it has become difficult to ignite. Two, the lamp performance is decreased. Or three, your lamp has reached the 1000 hours recommended lifetime. But before we start, you should be aware of the following essential safety information. Arc lamps have a high internal pressure and may explode if handled incorrectly. Always handle them with care and avoid touching the glass envelope. These arc lamps burn at 500 degrees centigrade, so be sure your lamp has cooled to room temperature before carrying out a lamp replacement and always wear a face visor. Step one, preparation. To replace your lamp, you will need a regular 3mm Allen key or hexagon wrench, a 4mm insulated Allen key, and sufficient personal protective equipment, i.e. a face visor and nitrile gloves. Switch off the lamp power supply and allow 30 minutes for the lamp to cool down. Unbox your new lamp and separate the protective safety shield into its two halves. Step 2. Removal of the old lamp. Disconnect the red and black power cables from the rear of the lamp housing together with the braided earth strap. Loosen the four white plastic bolts which secure the lamp housing to the optical rail. Slide the lamp housing to the right, then remove it from the optical rail and place on a suitable work surface. If present, remove the lamp stabilizing magnet from the rear of the lamp housing. Loosen the lamp alignment locking screw and unscrew the four retaining screws. Carefully remove the lamp housing back panel. Loosen the clamping screw on the anode mounting block. Being careful not to touch the glass, grip the lamp by its cathode and remove it from the mounting block. Holding the cathode still, unscrew the finger tight nut and remove the cable, washer and heatsink. Replace the old lamp in the unused half of the new lamp's protective safety shield. Step 3. Installing the lamp. Center the vertical position of the anode mounting block by adjusting the vertical alignment screw. Being careful not to touch the glass envelope, grip the new lamp by the cathode and fit the cathode heatsink, washer and cable into place using the finger tight nut. Fit the anode of the new lamp into the mounting block. Rotate the lamp within the mounting block so that the glass perfection is not facing upwards. Adjust the lamp's vertical position within the mounting block so that when viewed from the side, the gap between the two electrodes aligns with the two alignment pillars. Tighten the clamping screw. Adjust the lamp's horizontal position using the horizontal alignment port such that the gap between the electrodes aligns with the center spot on the lamp housing backplate. Refit the backplate to the lamp housing and secure it with the four screws. Replace the lamp housing onto the optical rail, engage with the monochromator and tighten the four white plastic screws. Reconnect all cables to the rear of the lamp housing unit. Switch on the lamp power supply. Wait 10 to 30 seconds, then ignite the lamp. If applicable, reset the LCD counter on the power supply. Leave the lamp to equilibrate for 30 minutes. Step four, lamp alignment. Flush your kinetic sample handling unit with distilled water and set up your absorbance detector for use with the 2mm path length and a slit width of 0.5mm. Turn on the electronics unit. Within the ProData SX software, select voltage mode and set the wavelength to 350 nanometers. Auto PM the absorbance detector.
double left click on the live display to zoom in. Remove both the vertical and horizontal beige plastic caps from the alignment ports. Using the insulated hex key, adjust the vertical alignment port and monitor the live data display. Warning, to avoid harm to the user and damage to the lamp, always use the insulated hexagon key for this step. The aim is to achieve the greatest signal voltage possible. Turn the key until your signal voltage will increase no further, then move on to the other port and repeat. If the signal voltage happens to decrease, turn the key in the opposite direction. To keep the signal voltage on scale, you will most likely need to auto-PM the detector occasionally. A lower high voltage indicates better light throughput and hence better lamp alignment. When you cannot increase the signal voltage any further, alignment is complete. Tighten the locking screw to secure the lamp's position. Finally, screw the beige plastic caps back into the adjustment ports. Your stop flow spectrophotometer is now ready for use. If you have any questions, please contact our customer support team. Thanks for watching.